Nigloland is a family theme park located in Dolacourt, France. And with it being home to over 35 attractions, there is no wonder it is so popular. However, today we are going to count down the top 10 rides at Nigloland. Starting off at number 10, we have Apple Flight. And no matter whether you want to fly through the sky in a giant apple or you are just looking for another fun family ride, then this is just for you. The only thing is, however, it is not all easy flying because as soon as you have boarded in either the one or two person very yummy looking seat, not only will you be lifted high into the air, but also spun and tilted around the tree, causing your apple seat to quite literally swing outwards. And you have an experience that I would feel wrong not putting on our top 10 list. Are you heading to Nigloland on a hot French day? Well, if the answer is yes, then you have got to take a ride on our number 9 spot, Riviere Canadien, because as you can probably guess by the name, this will get you very, very wet. And you will not be wrong with you beginning your Canadian River expedition by heading around lots of stunning theming, scenery and rides, whilst completing lots of rapid water twists and turns. However, we're still not at the best part yet as then this is followed by a humongous drop into the water below, definitely finishing off the ride with a giant splash. For our number 8 spot on our top 10 list, things are starting to become a lot dizzier, as we have Grizzly, the Park Zamperla Disco, and so with this ride being so common around the world, for starters, if you are visiting the park on a busy day, then we suggest riding the more unique attractions first. Nevertheless, if you do get a chance to ride, you will definitely not be disappointed with your giant grizzly bear themed disc, both rising up and down the W-shaped track, whilst also spinning around non-stop, which is pretty Raw-tastic, if you ask me. Ding ding. It is time for our first roller coaster on the list. As for our number seven spot, we have Spatelabe Experience, where you, of course, if you think you have what it takes to take off into space, will be able to board a rocket ship for an unforgettable experience. For me though, what makes this ride so out of this world is the fact that in addition to all of its fun space theming throughout and its family layout consisting of many fun drops, turns and a really cool and unique spiral lift till, you will be doing the entire ride in the dark. And you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know that this should be on your bucket list. You can't have an amusement park without a good old fashioned wild mouse and Neglo Land is no exception. As for our number 6 spot, we have and I apologise for our pronunciation, Schleet Express. And despite it being a dreaded wild mouse which is known for being very rough and painful at times, it definitely packs a punch, with you and the other three cow guys in your group being able to experience everything from some classic wild mouse twists and turns, to huge drops, to airtime heels, to even those much beloved sharp brake runs at a top speed of 28 miles per hour. How awesome does that sound? Top 5 Work, work, and coming in for this position, we have Galleon Pirate, 
the most swashbuckling ride at the park. Okay, that was a horrendous pirate accent. However, this pirate ship attraction sure isn't. With as soon as you have boarded the ship and for the best overall experience, we would suggest either sitting at the front or the back of the boat, you will rock back and forth, higher and higher, until you are quite literally flying out of your seats. And therefore, when also taking into account the amazing feeling throughout and that it swings you over the water, this should 100% be a must do. Have you ever wanted to head on a water coaster? Well, if so, then look no further. As for our number four position, we have Krampus Expedition. And wow, if this ride does not make you laugh, scream and get absolutely drenched, then I honestly do not know what will. With unlike your normal water ride, where you may head around a few calm and relaxing elements before the final plummet on Krampus Expedition. Not only will you have that giant drop at the end, getting you absolutely soaked, but you will also head round a coaster layout consisting of drops, bank turns and airtime hills, causing even the bravest of thrill seekers in the group to hold on very tight. Here we are at the top three rides at the park and for our number three spot we have Air Meeting, Negro Land Skyfly Attraction and for anyone who has not done one of these before, well then you are in for a treat with you beginning your flight by boarding a stunt plane that will then rotate around in circles. However, we're still not at the best or craziest part depending on how you look at it yet. As by using the handles on the wings, you can either take a nice leisurely flight through the sky or flip upside down non-stop for three minutes, creating a ride experience that a trip to the park would be nowhere near complete without a ride on. If you are scared of heights then skip to number one. As for our number two spot we have Don John Dare Extreme and with it standing at a height of 100 meters in the air already I know some of you are going to be like no way Jose. However it does not stop there because as soon as you have made it to the tippy top of a tower, you will spin around providing an amazing view across the park and surrounding area for what feels like an eternity, all before the final plummet back down to planet Earth in a matter of seconds, which trust me when I say is a drop that you nor your stomach will ever forget. We have made it to the number one spot and in my eyes for the best ride at the park we have got no other than Alpunina Blitz. And where do I begin when talking about this ride? As if I was going to talk about every great part, we would literally be here all day. Yet to start from the beginning, from the moment you walk into the park, and see this Mac Mega Coaster, you will instantly want to take a ride. And you should definitely do just that, as with all of its amazing 50 miles per hour drops, turns, and airtime hills, no matter whether it is your first, second, or 100th time riding, you are sure to have a blast. And so I think it is very easy to see why it is at our number one spot. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.